if you look at my holographic mass solution, it's really, if we write it in a more formal, in a more, you know, um, standard uh, formalism, it really is a holographic um, a principle equation. So it's an it's a equation of entropy, the entropy of a system in which the surface uh the surface um um uh tiling of Planck spherical units in my case uh you know defines the entropy relative to the volume um and and um basically you can think of it in terms of thermodynamics you can think of the entropy as like the energy being radiated from the structure of space, meaning like on the surface, um, you have a interaction between the Planck structures and um, the external world and the internal world of the system. And the relationship between the two, how much uh, particles are able to go in and how much particles are able to go out are describing the temperature or the entropy of the system. Um, the thing is, uh, that's not well understood in the standard model is that the entropy is not just, uh, what is being radiated by the system. It's was being absorbed by the system as well. And the absorption is the centropy part, uh, where, you know, the, the information that's being absorbed and the information that's being radiated or exchanged at the event horizon. And so the system is stable. It doesn't, it doesn't evaporate. Uh, and so, um, and so, and, and, but this was always, you know, described in terms of thermodynamics uh, in information theory. For the first time with our equation, all of a sudden it's been described as the mass of the system and um so you know so so we in fact have related thermodynamics with the mass of the system or the temperature of the system with its mass and um and we we wrote a scaling then from the temperature of a plum to uh to the background temperature of the universe we measure using those equations and we got the right temperature for what we measure as the background radiation of our universe and its acceleration. So we know it's correct. <laughs>